Okay. Mmm. Some good pizza. Today we're going to be doing part two of the reaction to the latest Mr. Bungle release. Uh, last time we reacted to tracks one through five. Today we're going to be reacting to the rest of the album, tracks six through eleven. That's six more songs. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right, you ready? Uh huh. Here we go. We left off on Bungle Grind last time, so the next one is called Mathematics. Sounds like Sacramento. That's right. I'm very tired. That part sounds like uh, something off their first album. It's a song called Love is a Fist. <sighs> they wrote this stuff before they wrote yeah, the yeah. stuff on their first album. Yeah. So that's probably where that riff came from. I'm excited for, uh, for like the, the next two songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, the song after this I've also already heard because it was one of the singles. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Bungle, one minute you're listening to like saxophone solo and then the next is like freaking thrash metal. You mean one, t one 20 second period? Yeah. Not really helping my uh, any any ear damage that I have. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. This album doesn't have as much variety as their other stuff, yes. but they wrote this. Yeah, when they, they, they were this, in high school, yeah. they wrote that. It's still good, just not you. You can't it's, uh, like skip twenty seconds and then hear something completely different. Yeah. Yeah. It, but you know, there's it's something. Different. There's some for everybody. There's probably more people uh, that like this. Not yet. Yeah. There's um, probably more people that like this than yes. Than some of the other than stuff. Than other yeah. stuff. All right. This next song is called "Erasist." It was released as the second single from the album, and this one's actually new. Besides the main guitar riff, which Trey wrote in high school, but yeah, they just released this song. It wasn't on the demo in 1986. Hmm. Oh, really? Yep. That's, that's right. Yep, they just wrote it. Or finished writing it. Huh? Yeah. Here we go. What if, what if someone switched something around? Where it was just a guitar, drums, vocals, rhythm bass, and lead bass. Fun fact, actually had a band before Divergent Delay that had Maddox and Braden in it, and they were both going to be playing bass. Brady or Braden? Brady. Huh. Yeah. They're both going to be playing bass. Yeah. That's interesting. Who's going to be the lead? The lead would have been Braden, because Maddox was also wanting to sing. I feel like we should have like some sort of lead bass thing. Yeah. So we should have like, both... Like, I just know there's two lead basses, but they're both in, in unison. Just like and we have a like like an like an ultimate slap bass, and then and, and then a and then a, a, a finger style. Okay. Okay. Guess we what? Pause. I got my hot chocolate now. Right there. I got my G Fuel. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys. G Fuel. The beauty of it. Sponsor us. Hot chocolate. Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Guys, you want some? Want some, guys? You want some? You're gonna make the camera all freaking. Want some? I'm want gonna some? have to wipe the camera off again. Anyways, guys. Oh, no. Uh. Um, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Neither with of G fuel. us are drinking pure water. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. But stay no. hydrated. I, I I have had a whole bunch of water today though. Which is good. You should always don't drink too much, but always drink don't enough. Drink too much. Like drink a whole bunch. Drink 
drink water until you can't. But don't drink it until you past you can't. Okay? Because when you go past you can't, then you start then you start building problems. Alright. Back to the song. We have beverages now. It's my favorite song of all time, but it's it, absolutely it's a good song. the slowest actual song on the album, which is like a breath of fresh air, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. But a breath of fresh air while you also hear a fight in a bar behind you. Yeah. Good song. Good song. Yeah. I give that... No. Not this time. No, please. please. I give that... I'm an gonna 8 mute. out of I'm gonna 10. mute the microphone as soon as you do it. I give that an 8 out of 10 ocarinas. Next song. Spreading the Thighs of Death. How does he, uh, he? How does he do anything? I don't even know how he does anything that he does. There's People who call thrash metal just noise don't realize how hard it actually is to play, especially for the guitarist and the singer. That yeah. And and the and the drummer and just basically everyone. Most you know? drummers in thrash metal Most drummers. are uh, are very very talented. Mm-hmm. But like this guy, yes. he's from Slayer. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 but the thing is, like, the drum fills are uh, uh, are not that easy. Like uh, to that's just to keep up with the pace. Yeah, yeah. It's very loud noise. It's it's it's, 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 it's not. It's, it's, it's definite. It, 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 it's most. They're all they're all jumbled. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's most it's, definitely it's, noise. But it's not just yes, noise. Yes, it's not just noise. It's not. It, it, it's very jumbled, and I see why people why people, why people okay, think that. People who but, say however. that metal is just noise, I challenge you to write a legitimate metal song. Or maybe learn one. Like, or learn if, one. Like, if you can't do that, then try to learn one. And if you can't do either of those, then you do not have the right to say that it is just no. noise. No. no. Alright, back to the song. Yeah, Trevor Dunn does a pretty good job yeah, on this yeah. album. There's bands that excel, like, on other levels. Like, there's b- bands that are really have really good bassists, or really good guitarists, or really good drummers, or really good singers. And then there's or saxophone players, saxophone players <laughs> like yeah. Mr. Bungle. But and then there's ones that excel. Yeah. One of them, uh, I that one of the bands that I think excels in bass is of course Primus. <laughs> Try yeah. to learn a Primus song. Yeah. If you think of Primus is just like apparently Primus is labeled as a. Uh, I I forgot what Primus is, is, is labeled as. It's 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 labeled as a uh, some sort of me- funk metal. Funk metal. Funk metal. Yeah. Also, so, so you so if you say that that's just noise, or that's just noise, try to learn anything from them. Another okay. incredible bassist is Cliff Burton from yes. Metallica. Mm-hmm. It sucks that he died way too young. Ah! It hurts. Too hot. But right, continue. I like it. Yeah. The name's funny. Um. Uh, I find it hilarious. And um, yeah, in an interview with Trevor Dunn, they just said they thought of the most inappropriate things that they could think of, and just made that the names of their songs. Oh really? What? What? For this? For this? For this job? Not for this album specifically. For any album? Well, they kind of stopped after their first album. Quote, unquote, slowly, slowly growing death. Squeeze me, macaroni. Carousel, egg, stub, stub a dub. 
Yeah, makes sense. But this album, they recorded these songs previously before this album. So they just kind of, they kind of dropped the whole freaking inappropriate funny thing. Uh, high school witch. And did this album. Chemical marriage. <laughs> Carrie Shrimps in the jaw. Desert search for techno a la. Violenza domestica. After school special. Phlegmatics. Mamishka mo mo squaws, mamishka mo squaws. <laughs> the ba the bands, uh, backstroke, <laughs> platypus. Here we go, bye bye. Hidden track noises. Let it go up. Sweet charity. Now new are there robots? Yes, I like it. Um, retro vertigo. The air conditioned nightmare. <laughs> Ars moriendi. Pink cigarette. I like that one. Gollum 2, the bionic vapor boy. Ho the holy filament. Vanity air fair. Uh, good goodbye sober day. Go up. Uh, that's. They don't have that m well, many albums because they disbanded for a long time. Uh, oh yeah, I know. Anyways, next song. This next one is called Lost for Words. We have about uh yeah three more songs to go. Just, I'm just gonna make that uh, a perfectly just, cut screen. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah. It, it, it's like it's. <laughs> I like how at the end of a bunch of these songs, they just improvise by like playing a really cool metal riff, and then have Mike Patton just scream. What'd you think? I like it. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. They're definitely talented, but... Mm -hmm. Not something uh, uh, that I, like... Usually listen to. Usually listen to. Like, but if, if, if I just found it, uh, it, 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 like, on a, on a playlist, I wouldn't, I wouldn't skip the song. Like, it, it, yeah. if, like, I put on an auto-generated playlist, and this song was on there... I, I wouldn't skip it. Yeah. No. Some other songs I, I would skip, but not not these ones. All right. Track 10. We're almost at the end. Oh. Glutton for Punishment. This one also might be a cover. I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> the recording quality on this album is amazing. Yeah. Especially compared to like the, the old, the original. Yeah, I'll show you the original after we're done listening to this I, one. I saw the original. I just thought of something. All right, so first of all, remember what we said that if you think that thrash metal is just noise, like then they you could go trap play it. Okay, now that there's a there's a catch. Okay, for some people, I know someone. Who cannot hear that well, okay? And she, because she went to, when she was like my age of 15, 13 or 15, then she she went to a uh, a, uh, a concert, Metallica concert, and she got front row seats, okay? Her ears, she had hearing damage from it, and then same thing for some of the uh, other injuries she had, and she is like, all I hear is noise. That's, that's literally all I hear. And then, and, uh, that, that's, that's an exception, okay? So, if you can't hear, if you can't hear anything, that, yeah. that's just noise, that's an exception. However, if you can hear perfectly fine, and you just think it's noise, then that's, that's, that, like, you can have your opinion, but, it's, it's, try to go with the truth, right? Not just noise. You are actually. You trying. can you can people dislike it. People, like, you, you can, you can not like it. You can dislike it, but it, you got to admit it like, takes a lot of talent like, to do this stuff. Like just doesn't try have metal to... streaming. Like I can't metal stream. I can't play that guitar. I can barely play the drums. The bass. I don't even know if I can play. I. 
doesn't have to be your favorite. Just yeah. yeah. Got to know that these people have so much talent. Yeah. Ah. What do you think? I think it was good. Cool. They're, they're very talented. Yes. Yeah, but I can't play any of the stuff that they play. So it's maybe, maybe. If you're watching this, Mr. Bungle, please. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. What, we do interviews. And we are back. We took a break. Yeah. But yeah, this is we us like for the last song. an hour in the future. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Last song okay. called Sudden Death. I've already heard this one because it was also a single. All right. I've heard all the singles. So basically I've already heard the whole album. But you have not heard this one, so we're going to listen to it. Yeah, the, orig the original version of that song was Speak English or Die, but they changed it to Habla Espanol Amor, which is Speak Spanish or Die in Spanish. Metal bands I've ever, yeah. ever heard. And these are long for thrash metal songs. Yeah. Yeah. They do this for a long time. The longest song on this album is 8 minutes and 46 seconds. seconds. And it is called Mathematics. And the shortest song is 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And that is joking, the album. I I, I'm not even joking, I think I have high functioning autism. Yeah, so what'd you think of the entire album? I thought that it was a... I thought that it was a very well-made album. I feel, like mm -hmm. it, it, I feel like they're having a lot of fun making it. Yes. Yeah, Especially like, after being apart for like 20 years. Yeah. But, uh, I feel like they were... Uh, I feel like uh, like they were having a lot of fun like just like giving their like heart heart out in the song and like... Especially playing with a couple of their heroes like Scott Ian and Dave mm -hmm. Lombardo. Yeah. Yeah, and it was, uh, seems, uh, seems like, uh, seems like they had fun. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, if you liked this video and this album, uh, subscribe to the channel, Hot leave a like, and go check out Mr. Bungle, because this is not all they do. They no. have done so much more than just this. Yeah, um... Please, uh, this is just scraping the surface of what they can do. Yeah. Monica, thank you. Thank you for... Hold on, I'm going to go get the copy. Thank you to the publicist, Monica, ASMR. for sending this to us. Anyways, all right, thank yeah. you, Monica. Thanks so much. This thank is an so amazing much, album. Um, uh, uh, awesome. Yeah. To Monica sent this to us. Yes. All Photos right. of the members... Taken by Buzz Osborne from the Melvins. Yeah. Thank you so much. Y you mean a lot to us, Monica. Yep. I... If you could ever set us up yeah. with an interview. Yep. Thank you. And, uh... That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And there the dogs are. Yep. Remember those guys? Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Hunt. Don't stop yet. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. We hope you had a good Christmas, a happy new year. 2020 is finally over. Yeah, we're recording this in 2021. Yeah. Last night we hit a symbol at, at 12 o'clock. It was. I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure this the, one. I'm pretty sure the neighbor, the neighbors, weren't actually mad about it. I'm pretty sure the neighbors weren't actually weren't like mad about it at, at all. 2020 sucked, but yes. so did you. <laughs> My new single coming out called 2020 Sucks and So Did You. <laughs> Buy it so I can afford waffles. Yeah. So, basically, 
we have merch out on these corner rules. We and, do. Uh, in fact, actually, he's wearing his Unisonis merch currently. Rest in peace. But that's how it goes. Anyways, yeah. got check it out, guys. You've seen it. If you uh, follow our yeah, Instagram, Musical Unrolled. Yep. Musical Unrolled. Uh, that that shop. Doc, I'm joking. No, no. Teespring. It's Teespring. Mm-hmm. It's, Teespring. it's Teespring. Yeah. I'll check out the Teespring's back. Show them the back. Oh, show them the back. Got you. It's our names. Cause we do the yeah, show. Yeah. Yep. So check it out. We got more than just this one item. Nope. We don't. Uh, we don't have. We don't have any more items. We only have this this one item. Just this one item. Just, just this one. Just the one item. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, there's actually hoodies out, uh, and as, as, as well as socks. Isn't uh, there for a some sa- reason, there's there's socks. A Samsung case. There's a Samsung case. I want to get a there case. Is, there is a mug. Is there, there a an, mug? You should make an iPhone case. There's a mug. There's a mug. There's a mug. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll make an iPhone case. There's Anyways, p- the, yeah, that's what's going on. A pillow for some reason. I th- yeah, I I you made want, the pi- I made the pillow because I want I want the pillow I want a pillow in uh, in our a, setup yeah and they're comfortable they're comfortable yeah I I even tried one right they're comfortable I yes. they're they're like they're like polyester like a hundred percent polyester somehow I don't know 